Maybe I'll do a bonus round, I don't know yet. Congratulations, Crash. You should be proud of yourself. Not only have you collected all the crystals in record time, but you also defeated the elementals. Let Crunch and me be the first ones to congratulate you. By pummeling your sad bandicoot frame into a pump. Come and get it. Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 10 of Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. We're doing the last level of the game, Crate Bubbles of Fire, which I believe is another mech suit level. Crash, you've been a naughty boy, but now that's going to end. In this specific level? We've died probably two, three dozen times. I, uh, you just don't, just don't give me lives. Man, I still remember how- Oh, this is the chase level that also has a robot in it. Also, there's only 110 boxes. I better not do a chase scene while I'm, uh... On this really slow-moving gimmick. Luckily, because we did the last level, we have two Aku Aku masks. So one more and we're invincible, which can actually screw you over a lot of the time in these games. Because then, like, if you need to jump on blocks, or blocks, on crates, you can't. Also, what is with this world and the really weird camera angle facing the wrong way? One thing that Crash in the original series didn't do was a lot of these weird, awkward-facing, uh, things. Also, that's an invisible wall. Wait. Huh. Oh, lordy dordy. Wait, so you're telling me I'm gonna waste that just because the bonus platform is right here? Also, the mask isn't even on your face. Aw, oh, man, and we could've technically... Aw, oh, man, that's, that's such a bummer, man, bro. Are you serious that I lose it? Because instead of turning around to the left, he walked off the ledge to the right? Oh boy. What I was going to do was just to do this, but I wanted to see the first time here if that actually did anything. Wait, why are there two bouncy platforms here? That seems kind of weird. Or bouncy boxes. Bouncy crates? There we go. I guess we can technically do the tippy-toe, right? Which, like I said, is kind of a weird gimmick that doesn't show up very much. And we can just blow it up up top. And it looks like there's an invisible box here, so it looks like we need to go and trigger something. Oh, it's whatever this is. Wait, how is that not direct? Game? Why are you aiming so weird? Oh, so one- and that's all the boxes. Okay. That was it? Really? That was the bonus? Okay. We have 45, so we're almost halfway done the box. Oh god, we got lots of these stupid platforms. They're just so dumb, because you just gotta, like, rush them. There's, like, no real challenge to it. Oh yeah, eat! Oh yes, the mech suit. My favorite part of this game. <laughs> oh, and that wasn't a checkpoint. Why, why did they give you a checkpoint before the mech? And that mech suit, by the way, is why we were playing this on lower graphics. Because anytime you get into that or the water levels, when you hit the machine, it like bugs out the game. For whatever reason. Oh yeah, we have a, we have a, we have the gun in this mech suit too, right? Oh yeah, but it's square instead of the regular button, which is kind of weird. Just saying. Also, I got an Aku Aku from that. Let's go over them. Nice. Oh yeah, never mind. Here's the, uh... The chase scene. Kind of weird that they give you the uh, mech suit, though. Okay, that was BS. Oh, 
I was. Oh god. Ah! Was not expecting fire. Even though I should have. Oh, okay, we missed that. I didn't realize that we were going to have to do that ourselves, but okay, let's grab that. Yeah, my finger keeps slipping off the analog stick in this level. There we go. It doesn't matter, like, if we got them afterward, it just... I love when you click the X button. It did my jump afterward! Oh, now the fire's back. I don't get how it's, like, even, like, holding it back. If it can just bust through whenever it feels like it. Also, is it me, or does certain sections of this just feel easier? Because of the lack of enemies? Nice. Oh, oh, hang on. We got a robot over here. Robot dead. Another checkpoint to blow up already. Thank you, nipple robot. I see the crystal because it's glowing purple. Or never mind, it's just these weird platforms again. And a robot. There's the crystal. Wow, there's only nine left, and I'm pretty sure it's the nitro switch. Oh, don't tell me I was actually supposed to. Oh, you gotta be shading me, man. I slipped off the edge again. You guys just hurry up and blow up. And nobody's got time for your stuff. Oh, I think these ones don't automatically flip. Like, on their own. I think it requires weight. So your body mass will cause it to flip. Okay, why does he slide? Remember how I mentioned the uh, ice levels? Or ice level, because I think Crash only actually has one ice level in this game. And he kept sliding off. It was, oh yeah, it was level one. Yeah, it's a weird issue with, like, collision on the ground. Where up, little robot man, dude. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to shoot that box. Unless you want to, um... Risk the platforming to get it, but I don't know. You just have to really, really specifically let go of the, um... Uh... Whatchamacallit. Oh, yeah, no, it looks like we're gonna have to hop on the platform to do it. Because for some reason... Oh! It, do you see that? It locked on just for it to be like, nah, nah. There we go. We're only missing five. Oh, it's a nitro thing. Nice. So there we go, we 100% that level actually a frustrating level. The beginning of it was kind of meh, and I'm kind of glad we got the checkpoint when we did. But overall, not a bad level. Not a bad level at all. And there we go, now we can take on Crunch Time, and then we'll be done this Let's Play. Maybe I'll do a bonus round, I don't know yet. Congratulations, Crash. You should be proud of yourself. Not only have you collected all the crystals in record time, but you also defeated the elementals. Let Crunch and me be the first ones to congratulate you. By pummeling your sad bandicoot frame into a pump. Come and get it. Okay, this fight you can kind of cheese. It's kind of like the Crash Insane Trilogy where you can kind of cheese it too. Where, if you just sit up here, you won't take a lot of damage from anything. Okay, so, the, there's only one attack that can hit you up there, and it's those ones, and I forgot that it's the first one, because it goes in order of, like, which elementals were first. Oh wait, yeah, then you have to use the, uh, Fruit Zook on them. I forgot all about that. Which, by the way, is not the easiest uh, angle. So now he's gonna go... See, there's the four masks. So next one, I believe, is just... Oh, wait. Never mind. 
Yeah, he just hit Cortex, because for whatever reason, he punches Cortex down. Which makes no sense. So now... Yeah, now there's just Ice Balls down there. And then this one you'll have to avoid. Actually, only kind of. Because he technically doesn't always, um... They don't always home in on your location. Sometimes they just, you know, kind of just float around. You have to hit him four times. But for some reason, they don't actually have a health bar. Now, I'm pretty sure the fire one turns the, the racks down there into, yeah, fire. And then we got, oh, the rocks. And we got the ice balls, which we can just casually avoid. Oh, and then the fire. Can those ice balls just disappear? No, are you kidding me, game? Oh, lord. Just because, like, the angling on the, um... The Wump of Bazooka there can really screw with you. Also, these ice balls stay way too long. Okay, so he always seems to use the fire one last. And there we go. And then the wind one, I think you can also avoid too, I'm pretty sure. The music here is pretty loud and epic, though. Death to Cortex, yes. My big fat brain, I have headache now, boo. Oh yeah, it's the lasers down there now. Oh my god, I really ran into that one, that was on my own stupidity. Why did he jump behind Cortex there? That just it's always so weird. Alright, crunch the delic boy. Let's dance. Pew. Whoa, nilly. Wait, it's weird, because you can only go to two of these. Uh one. I do really like the music in this game, though. They did make it seem epic, even though the fight's kind of weird. Like, why is he still using the elemental powers exactly? Like, is there a reason behind it, or what? Alright, now we got the fire, which is super easy to avoid. And then we got this one, which is honestly the hardest, and yet it's the first one. But also, like I mentioned, the first boss is kind of annoying. Now, the last one should be fire again. So we just... Uh, get ready to go over here, and then aim at him and fire. And then now we can smack Cortex back. I I don't get like what's going on. Like also, what's Uka Uka doing? If Uka Uka is all powerful, like what is he doing? Now we got laser beams. Yay! I think the annoying part is that it. Uh, is that it just, I think, randomly triggers now. Oh, now we got laser beams again. Oh, no, that's ice. Oh, now we got rocks again. Yay! Oh, don't get stuck on the wall there, uh, Crash. Is the fire one going to be the last one? Nope. Now we got electricity again. Alright. Boop. And then I believe that's the last hit, and then we win, right? Oh, I think you kind of like knock his brain loose or something. Was that it? Speed shoes, hold R2 to run faster. Yeah, bruh. That was it, guys. We beat the game. Can't you ever let me win? What do you want from me, you Cretan? Cortex! You realize that Crash may have collected all the crystals, but he doesn't have the gems. With the gems, we can resurrect the masks one last time and destroy that bandicoot once and for all. Okay, so... Like my fans suggested, they wanted to move, move on to some more retro product, uh, projects even older than this, so we're going to cut the Let's Play short here. Um, I might occasionally, every now and then, upload parts of like the post-game content, just to have like, as a bonus, but now it won't be as like 
uh, steady of a, of a let's play. So if you guys enjoyed this let's play, please remember to leave a like on the video, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and the Patreon link below. And yeah, let's do our typical post-game talk. What did I think of the game out of 10? I'll give it a 6. Maybe a 5.5 if I'm, if I'm being mean. It has a lot of flaws, like slippery platforming, not really indicating how you're supposed to use certain abilities throughout the game. Like in the very first level, for example, they expect you to use all your abilities, but they didn't do it in a way where, like in the original, that they would put an obstacle and you'd have to figure it out yourself. And yeah, it was just, I don't know. And then the climbing, like when you did those like great uh, sections, those were really slow. Some of the levels were just long and drawn out. The death platforms being at the near end of the level, unlike the other Crash games, is kind of stupid too. The boss fights were pretty innovative, I guess. The uh, rock one, in my opinion, is bad. The Atlas Spear levels kind of suck. They're extremely janky and stuff. Um, there's just, And the fact that death platforms, or death pathways, only have... Nitro and nothing else is also weird. I mean, like, they just cram pack Nitro into all of them. Just like, yeah, here you go. This this is the challenge. It's just a bunch of Nitro. But other than that, the game, like I said, is pretty good. Also, why do we have to have the Japanese translations of the uh, characters? That's really weird, because this isn't the Japanese version. That's an entirely different titled game. But anyways, that's it, guys. See you for the next Let's Play. Bye bye Wait, unless we have another cutscene. If we have another random cutscene, then, then I won't end it yet. But if we have a cutscene, then I will end it. Or, no cutscene, I'll end it. We'll end it. We can now take the middle platform, but that will require relics, which I said I might do in my spare time. Bye bye guys, have a good day.